Ooh. It is free for all Friday, and I'm surrounded by two of the most beautiful human beings I've ever seen. Ricky and Ricky's cat. I'm sorry. And <laughs> Scott. <laughs> What's up, boys? Over here. Not too much. Not too much. Not really me. It's too early in the morning. <laughs> uh, so, Ricky, you got to work tomorrow. Um, yeah, in like a couple hours, a few okay. hours, something like oh, that. Oh, all right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna zip through this in about three and a half. So we'll get her we'll get her knocked out. I'm off tomorrow. Scott's off tomorrow. We got nowhere to be, right, buddy? Hey, I got a weekend off. <laughs> it just doesn't start until the a.m. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Let me make sure everybody's sounds good here. I think we're live on Facebook. We are live on Facebook. It popped right. up. Sweet. Very cool. All right. Well, uh, welcome to Hardway Wrestling. Uh, my name is Jason. This is Scott to my, I don't know, I can't tell if it's my lower right or my upper left. or. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then I got a tricky We're Ricky to the my. The guy with the cereal spoon. The guy with the cereal spoon is Scotty. Uh, <laughs> and the guy to his left or your right, depending on if you're cross-eyed or you're, where you're sitting in, the, in front of your computer. You're not cross-eyed. Your eye goes the other way. You can't say you're cross-eyed. I, I honestly though, I really wish I could get both eyes to go out at the same time because this eye also flares out, but I can't get them to do it at the same time. I Jesus. really would. I would love to get it to happen just to freak people out. It'd be I amazing. I can't imagine you walk. I, I just see you walking into shit all the time. <laughs> I just, just didn't see it coming. Just right, right down the middle. Yeah. <laughs> right. So uh, we are on Facebook at Hard Ray Wrestling. We are on YouTube at Hard Ray Wrestling. We are now on on Apple. Uh, all, all your podcast platforms: Google Play, Apple, Spotify, uh, Pod Ripper, uh, Fart Ripper, whatever. We were on all those. We're on all those different podcast platforms. So uh, you can catch us anywhere. And if we, if, if you want to see us, Facebook and YouTube is the place to go. But there's going to come a point where you're going to say, these fucking guys are ugly. I can't. They're good. They sound great. Uh, the dude in the middle is cute as fuck. Uh, but I, uh, I'm talking about the cat. I, but I, will, <laughs> I just I can't look at him anymore. I can't look at him. So you can put us in your ear on all your podcasting platforms. Uh, so we have a big, a big show today. Uh, again, thank you for coming. If you're here, if you just swing by, Make sure you go like, subscribe if you're on YouTube, ring the bell um, mm -hmm. on, on all the platforms. Please leave us a review. Write us a review. Uh, I, we don't care what you say about us. Uh, we've all been in bad relationships. Uh, so whatever you say, you can't you can't hurt our feelings, right? You can't, right? Except for Scotty, right? You're celibate. You, right? you, when's the yeah. last time you've been in a relationship, Scotty? This got nothing to do with the wrestling, by the way. Yeah. I told you we're going to be here for three hours and keep Ricky out of bed. He was exactly. in a relationship this morning with a bowl of Lucky Charms. Hey. <laughs> well, one day we're going to listen. We're, Scott's going to tell us about his one of his relationships. or Because, you know, believe it or not, Scott Scotty is a man whore. That'll be a uh, Dr. Phil episode. Or, <laughs> or Jerry Springer, depending where the DNA ended up. Yeah, there, there's going to be uh, uh, one day we're going to see Scott on TV. It won't be Jerry Springer because he's gone. Uh, but... Uh, maybe Steve oh, yeah, Walker. We're gonna see Scotty in a midget. <laughs> so. oh, good lord! All right, but anyway, we, we have we, a jam-packed show. We have Lord. another AEW firing, boys. Yeah, another one. Yep. Gets the unemployment yep, we do. Line. Another an, an, another one gets his walking papers for AEW. Uh, they are cleaning house over there. They are taking out all the trash. Ace Steel fired by. A hey, Tony Khan, do you think he did it in person? No, uh, he probably, no, not, probably had Mega do it for him. So. Yeah, had Mega do it for him. Okay. Um, Mega's dog. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Whatever. Uh, threw a chair at whoever. Whoever um, uh, Ace Steel would is less likely to take a, a bite out of. Yeah. Is, uh, is is who. Um, is who fired him anyway so uh cm punk uh after the media scrum last uh the very first media scrum the brawl out or muffin toss usa whatever you want to call it um <laughs> there was a big brawl in the back a steel was part of that brawl he supposedly allegedly bit somebody kenny omega i don't know is you think i mean i look at kenny omega and i say i don't think he tastes good i i was <laughs> I'm very surprised that they didn't have to quarantine a steel and give him a whole bunch of rabies shots for that. Like, I mean, you know, like, well, I, fit, guarantee, I guarantee he Omega, not his dog. Huh? He fit Omega, not his dog. Omega is, is rabid. I swear to God. Like, yeah, you know, me like, could be. You, you never know with that guy. Like, I, I, I guarantee he's got hey, some he's, kind of serial disease at least. But you he's know, the cleaner. He's the cleaner. He's the cleaner. He's not dirty. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you're saying a steel was, thought he was going to the dentist. He went for a cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> is that what you're saying? All right. So a steel, a steel is it gets fired. Um, CM Punk's on the shelf. A steel gets fired. CM Punk comes back, and one of CM Punk's stipulations was, "You bring a steel back, right? Ooh. That's his. That's his boy. That's his boy, Blue." Uh, and so they bring a steel back, and uh, they gave him a role. Uh, with uh, they were actually, I think I read that they were looking for a remote. training, training yeah. facility, and he was uh, remotely. He he was doing all his work remotely via Zoom calls because he wasn't allowed at the um, tapings before he was fired. Anyway, CM Punk was fired uh, by AEW last week after an investigation into the backstage incident at All In with Jack Perry. Five days later, Punk's close friend and trainer, trainer Ace Steel, is is now also gone from AEW. Uh, news of Steel's termination today was reported by PW Insider, and confer- confirmed by F4W Online. Dave Meltzer, my bad, Dave Meltzer. Yep. Uh, Steel was a key player in last year's backstage fight at All Out uh, 2022 uh, between Punk and the Elite, uh, where some accounts say that. Uh, that he bit Kenny Omega and threw a chair at Nick Jackson. Uh, at least it wasn't the other way around. He he threw Nick Jackson and bit a chair. So at least he was <laughs> in his, his right mind there. So Ace was fired uh, in the aftermath of that brawl. Uh, and it sounds like uh, secretly rehiring at some point and then worked as a coach, producer, and launched uh, the launching a new collision show. Yeah, so when they hired him back, nobody really heard that they hired him back, right? It was kind of a rumor but they never really came out with it. So uh, Ace Steel now um, standing two places behind CM Punk in the unemployment line. Punk's holding <laughs> his spot in line for him for the last five days. Yeah. So I, I, I guess I, to me it's like, yeah, you can bring Ace Steel back as soon as I get rid of CM Punk. Everybody, the elite, whoever was like, okay, who's going to make the phone call? Yeah, yeah. Who's going to call Ace and let him know he's – Shit canned. I mean, honestly, the thing I'm surprised about is that Ace just didn't call the day after Punk was fired and like, "Fuck you, I quit." But you know, who knows? Like, who knows? I mean, he knew. Nah, he didn't have to. Like, the writing's on the wall there. So pretty much, uh, he knew he was gone. So why quit when you're going to get fired and he could probably get some sort of severance or whatever? True. True. Maybe. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what the stipulations are of the contract. Maybe it was coming out of Punk's million dollar belt. I don't know. So who knows? Who, who knows? knows? I mean, it, it's sad, but like I, you know, wherever Punk ends up next or lands next, you know, you guarantee it's guaranteed to be with him. So I, I don't think you know Ace has too much to worry about. And who knows? Like Ace might. Have well, he might. Punk. He huh? might have something to worry about because who the hell is going to want to sign Punk? Well, uh, it looks like uh, Impact is very interested in signing CM Punk. But they, there's no way Impact can pay him what he's like. Listen, I, all right, so I'm Impact, okay? Right? And I go to say you are, you are Pepsi, okay? Uh-huh. I'm going to go to you and say, 
hey, listen, we have a chance to bring CM Punk in. We would like to wrap that up with some sort of sponsorship. Is there any way we, for the next two years, we get $9 million from you? We'll make you our top sponsor. We'll put you on all the boards around the ring. We'll put you up in the arena. We'll put we'll do commercials. We'll do all PepsiCo, Frito-Lay, whatever, Tropicana, whatever you guys push. And you basically cover half of CM Punk's contract and money to us to improve things around Impact. How's that sound? It sounds sounds pretty good, but sounds like, I, it sounds like I've sold once or twice before. Yeah, yeah. but but here's, but here's the thing, okay. <laughs> and here here's where I take a little bit of issue. With, I mean, yeah, I agree with what you're saying, makes sense, but I don't see big name companies getting involved with Impact. I could see them doing that with WWE. I could definitely see them doing that with AEW. With Impact, like Impact is not even third rate, fifth, not even fifth rate anymore. Wrestling, uh, a fifth rate wrestling promotion. Well, they're the third biggest wrestling company. They're the third biggest, but they're not like they're they're not they're what they used to be. The one the once level that they used to be at, they're no longer there. They've dropped six, eight, seven, eight tiers. Now, do you remember why they were so big back in the day for when they were just, they were TNT, TNA or whatever they were? Yeah. Do you remember why? Not because really. They no. had a hell of a roster. With That's them. exactly right. They had pretty much all of the NWO. They yep. had uh, Hogan, Flair. Yeah. They had AJ Styles, Abyss. Um, they, they brought Foley in, Flair. They had um, a lot of, a lot of, your veteran um, group from the current AEW roster was there. But they bankrupted themselves doing that, just like kind of like WCW bankrupted itself doing well, that. It starts at the top with your idiot ownership. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, but see, that's the thing. I, and again, I agree with you. Know, Jason's idea of getting a, a sponsor to help out wouldn't be a bad idea, but I honestly don't see top name companies working with an impact. I see like I could see a PepsiCo or something like that working with an a WWE or an AEW, but not an impact. But like I can I can't even think of a top rated company that would want to be associated with an impact. So ramen noodles. <laughs> I, there, okay, there, there you go. Uh, Marucci CM Punk wouldn't even be there long enough to to fill out that contract before he either gets hurt or gets fired for doing CM Punk things. <laughs> I just think I just think the CM Punk is still a big name. I know he can't seem to get along with with people <laughs> for whatever reason, uh, except maybe for AG Lee. Maybe, him and AG Lee are still together. Well, maybe Slamovich would put him in his place. Uh, she will fuck <laughs> him up. Like uh, Masha Slamovich is a dog, so <laughs> she'll mess him up. But uh, I mean, he's a he's a draw. Uh, yeah. So I, it doesn't have to be one. I'm, I'm not saying PepsiCo only sponsors Shakira and uh, <laughs> Taylor Swift. We don't do wrestling people. But uh, I, I, I mean, good afternoon. Uh, I, I can imagine that a few um, a few sponsors <laughs> would. Randy said Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Hey, that there you go. There you go. Straight edge, straight edge Phil at the Dollar Tree. I can see him doing signings right now. Yeah. We'll get him a couple of those cardboard cutouts like uh like uh Jay uh, White. Jay White. So yeah. anyway, uh he would for impact, he is Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Right? He immediately goes right to the top. Uh he's the biggest superstar there. Uh so I mean honestly. Why not? He's out of options. Except ATCW will bring him in. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't think Chucky would go for that. I really Maybe don't. You're right. He probably, he, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'd talk him into it. Listen, Jeremy Stone is uh, <laughs> is undefeated. And uh, that, I couldn't think I'd I wasn't gonna, him into this. I wasn't going to go there. <laughs> but you brought it up. Yeah. So, anyway. Yeah, so Ace Steel's fired. Uh, CM Punk, we're gonna find Must, out where he uh, he's is going. Stone, is Stone the Make a Wish kid that was uh, nominated 
to be brought in for ATCW. I'm trying to tell you, you're playing with fire, bro. You're playing with fire. <laughs> All right. Uh, did you guys get a chance to catch uh, A-Dub, A-Dub-Dub on, uh, on Wednesday? I called now- the first, like, almost hour before I had to go to work. Did you catch the MJF and Samoa Joe? I did watch some of that, and that uh, was intense. Uh, this might be the AEW match that we've all been waiting for. Like this, this first promo that these guys cut against each other—they always do. They always do a promo. MJF always has a promo in the ring against whoever his next opponent is, uh, and. Uh, Samoa Joe scares the shit out of me. And I am not even near him. I'm on the other side of a TV, but he is menacing. He's a big son of a bitch. He is menacing. And he just went back and they went back and forth. Uh, he kept calling uh, he kept calling Samoa Joe. He kept saying, what's your problem, kid? Hey. Right? Kid. <laughs> kept calling him kid. All right. So a couple notes here. Uh, Wednesday, uh, Joe and MGF. Uh, uh, Joe wanted to know what his problem was. MJF initially poked fun at Joe, make fun of his weight. I think he kept calling him. Uh, he said every, he said every time he hears MJF's entrance music, he thinks he's uh, running after an ice cream truck. Yeah. <laughs> so he kept calling him Samoa Doe. Samoa Doe, like he was, he was all over him. Uh, he's, he was fat shaming him. Uh, Samoa Joe fired back with uh, saying the world. Uh, he would run through. The, he's going to run through this tournament and get this title shot and proceed to beat the absolute dog piss out of MJF. Uh, so he went back and forth. Uh, MJF got in his face. I think he po- no, I think he hit him. I think he hit Joe. Joe kind of backed off. Was like, you know, you're not ruining my my title uh, my title shot here. I'm gonna let you have a good day. And he just kind of let him go by, and then he hit him from behind. Uh, beat the snot, beat kick the crap out of him. Held the belt up, which is you don't touch the belt. You just don't yeah. touch the belt. And, uh, be. Held the belt up, went for the muscle buster, and uh, Adam Cole uh, interfered or not interfered, but uh, cut him off and uh, made sure that uh, MJF is selling his neck. So I don't, I don't know what they're going to do here. Uh, they're really selling this neck thing. So. Yeah. I don't know if they're going to take this belt off of MJF, but this is going to be this is honestly this is going to be uh, this is going to be the best match that he's going to have. I, Adam Cole was great. This um, Samoa Joe is going to kill him. Well, and here's the thing: right? looking at it from this perspective, without Punk, they need something. They they don't have any guys that are like at the level of an MJF right now. Like, they don't... And I'm not even talking about, like, just, his, like, as career-wise, I'm talking, like, um, top superstars that they have to go against MJF. They, the the roster is very thin on those guys right now. So, without having the, 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 the unification match that we all wanted to see, Punk versus MJF, um, now I you've got... Want to and, see it. Huh? I didn't want to see it. I did. Uh, now you have a chance, though, to see CM Punk or CM Punk, see um, MJF, and a different style of wrestler in a Samoa Joe, the big brute, you know, the big guy versus the little guy kind of aspect to it. <clears throat> um, you know, Joe's Joe's the muscle bound, the you know, the big beef, and MJF is the little guy that you know Joe can just manhandle and throw around. So. I feel like this is going to be, and, and Joe has got a lot of experience that can really work well in a match like this. MJF is good in the ring. He is one of the best I've seen for his age and for his experience level. But he is, compared to Joe, he's still green. You know, so Joe's got a lot of experience that can really help add to and build a match like this, and maybe not even just one match. Build a series of matches. I would love to see a trilogy with these guys. You know, build it so that they are, that, you know, it builds Joe up, you know, to make him look like a world beater, you know, disputed finish, something go, something weird goes down, you know, and, and bring it back for a couple of matches to really give MJF a good run against a top name opponent. And Yeah, you that, wouldn't think that there'd be anybody that could to, to elevate MJF, uh, but 
perfect that Samoa Joe is yeah. going to do this. So exactly. um, this exactly. this little face run uh, for MJF is really going to do him some good. So, yeah. And we all love Samoa Joe, right? He is like, oh, yeah. he's legit. He is like, he's savage. legit. He's savage. <laughs> he is a savage. Let me look at the comments here real quick. Uh, I believe Hunter was talking about MJF uh, when he said Hunt, they want him in EC3, wants him in NWA. Um, I oh, believe yeah, NWA true. is a studio show. I don't know that they really have a live crowd. Uh, they probably have less people that come to uh, that than they, ATCW. Create yeah. narrative. Yeah, create his own narrative. <laughs> That's actually perfect for him. Yeah, he'd be creating yeah. his own narrative. Yeah. Uh, Hunter says, uh, they keep hiring old guys. Uh, Dollar Tree, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jeremy Stone, I believe, had a message. I see that. Yeah, I think that message was towards you. It, it might be. I was surprised he could even spell it. Oh, well, it's, it's you know, it's only a couple syllables. We lost, we lost Scotty there. He's getting his ice pack. Scotty's fade to black. It's too early in the show for that ice pack. Anyway, oh, uh, Joe Joe is uh, Joe stands tall over uh, uh, over CM Punk, uh, and then we, then we get uh, Rod, Roddy comes of, to the rings yelling. Roddy doesn't have Roddy Strong doesn't have uh, entrance music anymore. He's just yelling, Adam. Yeah. Adam! Did you see his little vignette about his his parents and the whole? I have their friends. Yeah. And and the kingdom patting him on the back. I'm like, get out of here! This shit's ridiculous. So and he's still ah! sitting there. He's still sitting there with his neck brace on. I like that they they pull the neck brace off for the for the for the match, and then as soon as the match is over, they put the neck brace back on. So yeah, yeah, uh, pretty awesome. All right, we got uh, what do we got here next? Oh, uh, L.A. Knight. Yeah, looks like uh, you're out the, it looks like this guy's getting his due, man. He uh, looks like uh, from what I read, a five year extension. Uh, yes. Uh, so, uh, let me get to my notes here. Uh, Ellie Knight is reportedly close to a contract extension with WWE. I oh, lost it here. Uh, uh, followed an initial report from PW Insider, the Knight was close to a deal on an extension. Fightful Select had some more on the situation. According to the outlet, Knight's, Knight's deal was nowhere near done around SummerSlam and it could take a while for such a situation to help WWE. WWE has gener generally waited until the deal waited until deals are much closer as of late before starting new talks. Uh, the report notes that some of the initial offers given were counters in the negotiation. There was some reports that WWE was waiting on a deal to complete before pulling the trigger on his push. So. I mean that explains a lot in between there with all the um uh with all the different uh you know putting him here putting him there and not really giving him just having him come out and talk yeah um, and whatnot so um, he's over he's over he definitely deserves it he's he's the top talent on that roster um so I can't wait to see what's gonna happen once they get this contract done and where they go with him uh hopefully he'll get at least a push to some sort of a title run, whether it's mid card or towards the world titles. Uh, neither WWE nor Knight has commented on the status of the deal yet. PW Torch, uh, the contract, PW Torch stated the contract is reportedly being finalized and has already been signed with PW Insider writing the same, uh, that some sources believe the new deal is up to a five year contract. Scotty, welcome back. Sorry uh, about that. I, I tell you what, let me. Uh, we were just talking about LA Knight's new contract. What do you, what, honestly, what do you, what do you think about that? What do you, uh oh. Mm, I am honestly happy about it. Um, because, again, he's been proving his worth over and over and over again in that company. And, and again, like when this whole conversation first came up about LA Knight, I said, and again, I'm not, I'm just repeating what I was hearing. That, you know, Vince wasn't high on the guy. He's like, oh, he's too old. He, you know, this, that, and the other thing. You know, I loved LA Knight. I loved what he was doing. You know, I was very mad that they, you know, that they didn't want to use him, didn't want to push him. And now all of a sudden, organically, he's getting 
over. Like the guy is a, the guy is just an amazing uh, on the mic. He's amazing in the ring, and organically the crowd is just getting behind him and just you know pushing this up the chain to the point where Vince can't ignore this anymore and be like, all right, we've got to do something with this guy because you know he's like we we can't ignore this groundswell otherwise like they're they're realize they realizing basically that if they do what they did with Daniel Bryan with LA Knight and screw that up then they're basically bust at least as far as that aspect of things is concerned so they can't make the same mistakes twice so they're really pushing with this LA Knight thing getting him the new contract so I'm happy about it I haven't heard shit about Vince in a while. Is he even up out of bed from the spinal surgery? Or, that was the other thing. We don't even know. They're trying to figure out whether smothered. he even had surgery. Or is he still smothered in his NDAs? No, he, he's hiding from all the corporate lawyers that are after him over the, the, the legal crap. So there there was no, I guarantee you there was no surgery. Whether He'll still come out in a neck brace, though. Whenever it <laughs> happens, he'll show up and he'll show up in the neck brace. But, but yeah, no, like, see, and that's the that's the other thing about it, with Vince kind of being behind the scenes, and and not you know, like not as active. We're starting to see guys get those pushes that they deserved a long time ago, because Triple H, yes, is, you exactly, know, like, exactly, and, and you know, for what it's worth, like Triple H again. Oh, Triple H and some more didn't get their push under Vince are getting their pushes now. Like, you know, even like to the point of bringing Bray Wyatt back. Yes, it didn't go the way we had all hoped. But, you know, a guy like Bray Wyatt, who Vince saw nothing with anymore, let let him go. And Triple H is like, no, we're going to bring him back. We're going to do something with him. So, and then with the LA Knight thing, thankfully they didn't release him at the time, but they had him under that uh, maximum male model gimmick or whatever you were doing back then. And like, they finally, you know, trips like, no, we ain't keeping this. We're going to strip this, you know, strip him out of this. Yeah, put him something back Dupree. He what was he? Something Dupree. Yeah. yeah. It's, um, Max Dupree. It's not Max Renee Dupree. Cause that was, that was the guy from years it's, ago. Yeah. It's Max Dupree. Was no, no, no. Was it Maxine Dupree, the girl? Yeah, yeah Max, it was Max, Max and Max Maxine. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, yeah. I yes. just I just texted a uh, possible source close to LA Knight to see if I could get some information on the contract. <laughs> so we're going to because uh, he's he's a hometown boy. So yes, I right, yeah, no, I'm 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 happy. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. You know, so if I get some information, uh, I'll keep my anonymous source anonymous. Uh, and hopefully we can find out something. Um, almost, Pizza Cutter News. I almost, yeah. said, breaking, breaking I almost, said, I almost said their name. Yeah. <laughs> so. Good on LA Knight, though. I mean, I, 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 I'm yes. super pumped for this guy. He's been everywhere, and he's he just doesn't ever seem to keep the love or get the love he deserved. And he is, uh, I mean, he's great. Like, he's great. Yeah. I w- I, and I know it might not Honestly, happen for like, a while, if ever, but if we could get an MJF LA night, forget about it. Wow, oh, that would be God. awesome. Forget about it. Oh, oh. So, dream match. Dream, dream match. match. All right, uh, moving on, moving on, moving on. All right, uh, Braun. Uh, wait a minute, where's my. Uh, Braun Breaker tried to kill a motherfucker the other day. <laughs> did, did, yeah. did you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I saw this, and yeah. I that was pretty brutal. I yeah. I give him credit. All right, so Von Wagner was a victim of a brutal assault on NXT Tuesday night. Braun Breaker attacked a 29 year old. God, he brought Von Wagner is 29 <laughs> years old. God, he's old. Uh, attacked a 29 year old WWE star after their no disqualification main event. Uh, the latter. Sp- I don't know. Oh, they called it a ladder. So dumb. Uh, the stairs split over Wagner's head at ringside. 
uh, still steps did. Uh, fans might fans might have worried about his health and the aftermath of the assault. The injury angle could be used to write him off permanently from NXT for Wagner to exercise his free agency status, either Raw for Raw or SmackDown. He was drafted. Uh, he is a free agent, correct? I, I think. Yeah, he he wasn't drafted during the during their deal, so he was he could go to Raw or SmackDown if he wanted to. Gotcha. So. So if you saw the original, well, the original video, and when they, uh, they were actually, if you watched it Tuesday night, the screen went black. <laughs> yeah. So, which yeah. was like awesome, right? It was like a, it was like a Sopranos type of ending to uh, Von Wagner. <laughs> and then they showed another angle where his head was on the top step. And then as, uh, as uh, Braun lifted up the stairs, he put his head down on the second step. Well, it looks like, and I, I'm pretty sure this would happen now, uh, the edge of the steps clipped Von Wagner's head. So he yeah. did get he, he did get get hit. So um but that probably they had a wrap on his head, he looked like a mummy. It was so generic <laughs> yeah. uh, the way they did it. So but we'll never know. I mean we'll never know. Maybe when Von Wagner's uh thirty one, he'll give up the information or whatever but uh <laughs> this is uh that that was a scary spot we we now, talked about you have to have trust in your opponent yeah. so here here's the question now all right from your perspective as somebody that's been close to ringside jason and probably seen or at least been around similar ideas of this should he have kept his head on the first step and then them do a spot where it kind of comes down in between the, you know, the two, like, did he make a mistake by moving down a step? Did Von Wagner make a mistake on that? Hold on. I don't know. It just, it didn't look good. That's all I know. And uh, no, he did not make a mistake. See, that was that, uh, because of the different camp. See where the cameraman is behind. Yes. Right. So yeah. the cameraman, the, where the cameraman is sitting, he, they can't, um, they can't really tell that he put his head down. So he moved his head down a step because Braun was supposed to hit the top steps, the top, right? Okay. So this angle here that you can see, you guys can't see because I, I have a picture up, uh, but the angle is um, uh, uh from a fan perspective or a fan phone, or maybe yeah, it was a plan. I saw, I saw the, I saw the video. So I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about. So, yeah, no, he did exactly what he was supposed to do. Uh, it just, uh, listen, shit happens, but he, you know, it just, you have plans to do something and you know, you, you blow your knee out, right. You, you go to play basketball, you yeah. blow, you blow up your Achilles. I mean, there's always something that goes on with, with these type of things. And this, this is a, you have to be super precise. Those steps are not light, right? They are. They are. They when they say that the, the only thing real in wrestling is steel steps. They hurt when you land <laughs> on them. They hurt when they hit you. They just you know those edges are sharp as shit. So, um. Anyway, my anonymous source just got back to me, uh, and they said uh, they don't think the deal is done yet. They just oh almost gave away. Uh, uh, they just uh, talked to him a few hours ago. Uh, and they're pushing for it. They're they're pushing for it, but it's not done yet. So there is no, there is no, um, no contract as of yet. As of yet, but I mean, hey, it's that's I a scoop. Be surprised. That's a scoop, boys. That's a scoop. <laughs> that's it. <a, laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they got to get him on the show. The next, What's yeah. that? Now you got to get him on the show. Yes. Uh. Yep. But but I wouldn't be surprised if the deal doesn't get done within the next couple of weeks, um, because again, he is, like he is, even though he is older, he is the next big thing in that company. And it's like their with top merch the, guy right now too. Yeah, top so he's merch pulling guy, in. He's pulling in money. Pulling in money. He's the best on the mic. He's got a, so much experience. Kind of what I was talking about with Samoa Joe earlier. With MJF, I would love to see guys like Damian Priest versus LA Knight because a young guy like Damian Priest can learn a lot from an LA Knight, both in the ring and on the mic. 
Um, heck, even like it wouldn't be a completely fair fight, but again, a dominant. Uh, she just called me dummy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't, like, anyway, yeah. go ahead. No, but like you know, there there are a lot of young guys that could would benefit from an LA Knight rub, you know, and you know, which not only would benefit LA Knight as well because it it gives those guys the rub and pushes them up the stratosphere, but then you can use it to keep pushing LA Knight up the stratosphere and get everybody into positions where whether you in a year or two you put the belt on it on LA Knight. Or you just keep using him to help elevate the next did you, generation. Did you just say guys. a year or two? Yeah, that's a little. I, bit I mean, of again, stretch. I would, I would like to see it. Here's the thing: I would like to see it sooner. But I, you know, again, yeah. I Survivor just, Series. I mean, hey, that'd be. Is nice that what your sources would, told you? Huh? <laughs> oh, uh, no. Mm-mm. No. Oh, okay. No, I, I, I don't think they're going to work that fast. I mean, maybe by SummerSlam next year, LA Knight has a belt. Um, yeah, has a world heavyweight belt. We'll see. He doesn't that. need it. He doesn't need it. Give him the belt, whatever. He doesn't need it. He's over like wherever. Just, he, 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 does, he, is the, he is a Roddy Piper in this company that he doesn't need the belt to be elevated. That is That is a very good point. But I still think it would be good kind of to do the the dusty style short run with a, a belt so that you kind of you give him the chase then you take it off of him so he keeps going back to the chase we talked about this uh several episodes ago where we talked about how the 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 the, the um the thrill is in the chase so you know if you do a dusty short run with the title way they did back in nwa put the belt on dusty take the belt off him pretty quick but at least then Dusty has the belt, but he can keep chasing it later on. So, um, but yeah, so no, I, again, I'm just, I, I expect in the next couple of weeks, this deal to be done. And like I said, six months, a year, let, let's say a year or so. And, um, you know, he's LA Knight. Yeah. LA Knight is, you know, feuding with some of the top dogs in the company for the top belts, one way or the, whether he gets it or not, I don't care as long as he's in that aspect. But he's also working with the younger guys and pushing the younger guys up because I, I it would be mm, again, it's just it's LA night. I cannot wait to see what they're going to do with him. Yeah, super super pumped for him. Super super pumped for him. Absolutely. All right, all right. So we kind of jumped off of Von Wagner. Uh, uh, thoughts and <laughs> prayers. Thoughts and prayers to Von Wagner and his big <laughs> split skull. skull. Split skull. So, uh, we had we, we had skull. a broken skull. Uh, what do we got on um, what do we got on you uh, Facebook here? Uh, rigged, rigged. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Anyway, uh, he's silly. Damien, shout out Damien, uh, making things happen. All right, uh, we have uh, we have new legends deal. The Dudleys have signed a legends deal. And then they dropped the this bombshell. Is- <laughs> then the <laughs> Devon dropped the bombshell. Get the tables. Now, now I did not see this Devon part of it, and like, uh, so you're gonna have to talk. But I saw this this morning as I was looking through uh, the news articles that the Dudleys have now signed Legends contracts with the WWE. Which I, from what I have always heard Bubba say, like Devon was happy. He always talks about how Devon was happy staying with the WWE. Um, Bubba wanted to go off and do his own thing and, and whatnot. And again, he talks about it all the time in the clips I've, I watch. He's like, look, me and Devon are still friends. We still talk on a regular basis. Devon's happy up there. I'm happy doing what I'm doing. But Bubba always said he had no intention of going back to the WWE. You know. Money talks. As, as of, huh? Money talks. Well, supposedly these I mean, legend money, deals, these legend deals... They don't pay a lot. Yeah. And he's still under impact contract. He's getting ready to do impact 100. I think it's impact 100. I was about to ask that because I was like, did, is this going to be an exclusive WWE contract? Because if it isn't, you know, then yeah, he can stay doing the impact stuff for a while and then decide he's going to, you know, slowly fade into the sunset and, and, you know, do the legend stuff and whatnot. But 
Yeah, I like so I was very surprised to see that the you know both of them together had decided to sign contract. I mean, yes, individual contracts, but as you know, you know, they're both together as legends in the WWE system now. So it's like, wow, that's actually pretty cool. But what is this thing about Devon dropping a bombshell? Like, please elaborate so, on that. So Devon came out and said that racism runs rampant in WWE. Oh. Uh, when he was there, when he was there, when he was a talent, uh, there was a person in the office, and he would not name names, but there was a person yeah. in the office that uh, was racist and said racist things and uh, had told him the date. He said they didn't like him because he was black. So, uh, S- Ricky, who do you think this is, and 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 why and why was it Vince McMahon? Uh, <laughs> gee, Vince doing something controversial and saying something behind the scenes. Wow, that would be a huge surprise. Why wouldn't that come from Vince's mouth? Well, it was it was a higher up, and I don't think it was. I mean, we did get we did get the end bomb from from, from yeah. Vince well, the John uh, Cena to Cena promo. Uh, at one point, uh, which hilarious, by the way, one of the and funniest did, moments. Did, did, yeah, didn't he say it to Booker too on live camera? What didn't he say it uh, twice? Booker oh. Booker actually dropped well, it Booker, himself. Booker said it to Hogan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. During a promo. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know who, who it could have been today. Well, could, is it, all right, Vince. so let's let's let's. All right, I'm not gonna say it to Vince. I mean, it could be Vince, but whatever. Uh, uh, Bruce Pritchard. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me either. With with knowing that guy's character, John Laurinaitis. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. that's probably a good good answer right there. I don't know. <laughs> This is right. This is right. Why wouldn't you have just said John Terry Laurinaitis. Taylor? There you go. But if it were Laurinaitis, I think he would have just come out and said because Laurinaitis is on the WWE blacklist, anyways, right now. So whoa. you know, whoa, whoa. what list? <laughs> oh, not damn, what, what son, I'm damn. <laughs> I mean, you just put him on the list that he doesn't want to be on. Obviously, not that oh, list. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Put me on the red not, list. Not what I was talking about, but anyway. Uh, no, but like, you know, John Laurinaitis is, is, you know, nobody's friend right now. So you figure if it was Laurinaitis, Devon would just come out and set it right up front. But he Pritchard, did not. Well, he just signed a legend deal. I, I mean, yeah, you would think if it was, yeah, that's a good point. If it was, if it was Laurinaitis, he's not with the company anymore. Why not? Why not say it? But obviously, whoever it is is still with the company. Yeah, exactly. So that's what I'm saying. Pritchard or Terry Taylor are, are good candidates as well if it wasn't Vince. Stephanie McMahon? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, there are so many things I could say to that right now, but I won't. Uh, but was, it, no. was, it, was it CJ? Oh, no, she wasn't. She goes the <laughs> other way. Yeah, she goes the other way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now, I again, I... It's not surprising considering the the work environment these guys foster, like the higher ups in WWE foster. So, you know, I, and again, with all due respect to Devon, and, and you know, I, and I feel bad that he had to go through any kind of, you know, mistreatment, you know, because of the this color guy of his was skin. in an ECW locker room, yeah, with 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 killers, yeah. Um, Why did this bother him in yeah, Philadelphia? Yeah, I, by the way, yeah, that's also true. I, I why 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 it. did this bother him? I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, again, you know, and it's funny because I mean, just now that you say it, who like considering the fans up there, like who knows what he was yelled at every night, you know, in the ECW arena. So like, what kind of stuff he was called? So he should. I mean, you would think. I would have with, a, new, with New Jack lurking around in those ECW <laughs> arenas, there probably wasn't too much said. Yeah, that's also true. That's also yeah. true. Well, we're we're gonna move on, but I, I mean, I hope that him yeah. and Paulie dangerously make up. Yeah. <laughs> no, maybe, maybe I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. 
Oh, God. All right, we have we have a rec- we have a new record. The Intercontinental Championship was broken on uh, bro- the record was broken uh, on Monday. A uh, Gunther Gunther mm. Gun- Gunther is now the official is officially recognized as the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion in WWE history. Uh, Gunther became the Intercontinental Champion by defeating Ricochet June tenth, two thousand twenty two on SmackDown. This ensures the reign would uh, be record breaking. Gunther defeated Chad Gable. At the main event on Raw this week, uh, we knew that they were going to push for this. We knew that they were they were headed this way. Uh, uh, awesome! I mean, I think this is great. Gunther's doing yeah. great work. Um, I, how long before he turns? He's got to turn face here eventually, right? No, no. He's no. always smiling. He's always smiling. He's the worst heel ever. He's the ring general. I, I, he, he's got. He, he, yeah, no, he's no. the ring general. I, I, there, no. I see no point in turning this guy into a face anytime soon. Just let him keep keep running this heel run. Um, he, he's a guy who's broke the record now for the IC title. Uh, start making plans to get that title off of him and move him into the world title picture. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. And so honestly... Go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, and I know exactly the guy to take it off of him. Uh, Ilya Dragunov. They had some of the best matches in NXT UK. They had uh, two of the best matches on NXT live TV. They need to bring Dragunov up to the main roster and have them have a feud for that belt and have Ilya take it off of him so that they can move Gunther up into the main, yeah, the, the, he, the big times. I think what, whoever so, they're going to... Whoever they're going to have eventually take this belt off of him has got to be like probably one of their biggest up and comers or a current star. You don't want to have some somebody like a, a Ricochet take a title off of Gunther who just made this one of the most legitimate uh, titles. So who do you think? See, that was my question. That was my next question. Who should take this belt off of, off of Gunther? And I have one, one right here locked and loaded. So we, so he thinks we bring up Elio Dragunov. Elio oh. Dragunov. Um, I don't know if I agree with that, uh, but it's not a bad pick. Uh, I do like Elia. Uh, I would like to see him do more in NXT first. I'd like to see him carry that world title. Uh, if okay. anything, I would bring Carmella. Carmella. No, no, oh. I want Carmella back. I also miss her so much. <laughs> now we bring up Carmella, Carmella Hayes. Uh, Let's go down if, in if your basement to see her. <laughs> She 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 stopped making she stopped scratching at the walls a long time ago. I don't know what's going oh. on. I haven't been down there. Um, so uh, so Ilya Ilya is is Scott's pick. Uh, Ricky, give me a pick. Who who should take this belt off of of Guther? Um, La Knight would be a good candidate. He would he would be a very good candidate. And whoever but whoever does take it off, I want to I want to see them at least hold the belt for a good legitimate time. Um, not not like a few weeks, and then they drop it to somebody else. Like Gunther's had this belt for what over a year now. Like was it four hundred and thirty four days or something? Whoever beats him needs to take this belt on another serious uh, run. It doesn't have to be a full year, but maybe a good four or five month run, um, defending it and keeping the belt looking strong. Not like the United States title where it was just put on theory for the last, I don't know how many months. And now it's bounced to Ray Mysterio. Yeah. Like that. And honestly, I, I can agree with that too, Ricky, because like I said, like, you know, to push um, LA into the title picture, you know, he needs a good run with another belt and the IC belt, traditionally and by the way you might hear something in the background it's starting to storm big time here so if you hear something just sorry about that run for cover yeah run for cover he'll be Um, paddling out of his living room once it starts flooding with a soup spoon your steel spoon my bad oh boy yep Yep, back out. Yep, yeah, he's good. All right, so you're you're <laughs> saying you're saying he's battling with his soup with his spoon. Uh, he's, can you see him surfing that down? 
down the road. All right, so uh, you you're taking LA Knight. I'm saying we are in the progress of rebuilding Jay Uso. Oh, I like it. Jay Uso like is it. Jay Uso is is burned a lot of people here over the last couple months or whatever. Uh, you're back, buddy. Um, okay, has burned a Sorry couple. Sorry about that. Nah, no worries. Uh, and Jay Uso has burned a lot of guys here in the last uh, last couple years, and they're rebuilding him. I would love to see them put him in a program, Jay versus Gunther, and let them go at it. Uh, three three part three part series and put this belt on Jay. Nice first first give him his first singles run as Intercontinental Champion. Yeah. I again it's it's not a bad choice either. I, I again I I'm not sold on Jay or either Jay or Jimmy as <laughs> singles competitors. Oh. Um just because again like they need more time away from each other in order to do it. Um, but I, I, I can see it going down. I can see it actually, I can see it working, you know, in a future scenario. Um, but I, I don't know if Gunther is the right one. And that's the other thing. I don't know if Gunther is the right one for Jay because again, style clash to me, like, I, I just, I don't know. Something just seems a little icky about that to me. And it just doesn't, doesn't fit right. So it's like, Two puzzle pieces that just don't fit together the way they should. Yeah, again, opposites but, attract. I think there's two con- con- contrasting styles that I think that would uh, that would honestly. Um, I've used a lot of big words today. Uh, my head yeah. hurts. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I like to see these guys go at it. I'm gonna dumb it down. And then the guy rattle. So. Uh, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I love to see these guys go at it. Something Jeremy Stone might understand. Oh, I'm, you're fuel to the fire, oh. buddy. Fuel to the fire. Uh, that gentleman that that commented, "How was your Father's Day?" <laughs> I know, I saw that. Uh, that that is the guy who dresses up like Deadpool. Oh, gee. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> oh gosh. He, he's great. He's great. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's great. Anyway, uh, so yeah. That's our that's our thoughts on Gunther. Um, congratulations, though. I mean, that's that's. Yeah. I mean, he'll never be the honky tonk talk man. I don't care how many days he had; he'll never be the greatest intercontinental champion of all time. There's only one. Only one. I still think they should have had Honky come out when he beat his record and say like they should have had some kind of interaction. Hit him, him with the guitar. No way. Yeah, he could have hit or get chopped. Like he would if each. If Guther chopped Honky, uh, and here we he go. Would he his, he would, he would knock his sideburns off he, of him. He would evaporate. Yeah. Like, it would yeah. just into dust. Yeah, oh. his, side, his sideburns would just fall right off of him. Yeah. It would so <laughs> good. All right. Uh, you guys got anything else? That's it for me, man. I got That's all our topics for today. We covered a lot. Yeah. Uh, I, think, I think I got negative. So, SmackDown tonight, Collision. We're gonna. It's gonna be interesting to see how Collision Fuck. does. Uh, Di- Dynamite really on Wednesday good. was really good. Yes. Dynamite on Wednesday was really good. It was. Uh, and they didn't even have and, and most Moxley of the prominent wrestled, stars. Moxley wrestled a ten minute match and did not bleed. Oh, he bit his lip. <laughs> he bit his lip. Oh, did he? Yeah, he bit his lip. You didn't see. I him. didn't see that. Yeah, he, bit, oh. he bit his lip and a skewer came out. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's Ouch. what I, I have. A... <laughs> Hold on, you guys are gonna have to check your chat here. I'm sure, I'm sure on uh, uh, on uh, podcast or the uh, Apple or whoever the podcast was. So they're like, "What is this idiot talking about?" Go into the chat. They had a Moxley bin at one of the grocery stores uh, I was in. So must have been in with thumb, <laughs> thumb tags. <laughs> So, <laughs> clearance skewers. A whole, box, a whole clearance of skewers. So, uh, oh, that's funny. I said it to Moxley. He never replied. Bags of thumbtacks <laughs> in there, too. So, all right. Well, that's good. Do it here for us at Hardway. If you guys don't have anything else, we're going to get out of here. Again, 
If you're on YouTube, if you're on Facebook, we are we are Hardway Wrestling. Go like, subscribe, ring the bell. We are on, we are now on all your platforms uh, for podcasting: Apple, uh, Google, um, Spotify, uh, Pod, whatever. There's a million of them, uh, but you're gonna have to search because we are new on on all those platforms. So you're gonna have to search. So it's we're, we're the black cutter. black and gold logo with the pizza cutter in the background. You can't miss it, and. Uh, Please go like and subscribe to those two. Uh, leave us a review. Tell us what you think. If you want to hear us talk about something, if you're tired of hearing Scott drone on about his super spoon, we'll, we'll you know <laughs> we want to hear we want to hear all that. If you're sick of Ricky and his weird haircut and his stupid cat, we want to hear about it. You know, right? we want to hear that's, about it. If you're tired of hearing about a guy pretending he's a wrestler, cutter. what's that? Cats be, the cat's gonna be carrying that pizza cutter next. Uh, that cat's gonna carry a pizza. He's yeah. not carrying a cat. He's going to carry it. He's going to eat it. I mean, that, that you see, cat. Can you see Scotty, you see Scotty and, and Mr. Puffer sitting around a table eating a pizza? That's not happening. We don't have, <laughs> furni- we don't have furniture that will hold them. <laughs> so, uh, Monday, we're going to do a little bit of uh, – we're going to play a game on Monday, boys. Um, nice. Game. We're going to play a game on Monday, but it'll just be for, it'll just be for the pod. We can't do it on YouTube. We can't do it on Facebook because it's music related. So, and we will get Ah. booted. But on pod, sky's the limit, brother. Sky's the limit. So that's a good thing. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for us here at Hardaway. Ricky, Scott, thank you so much. Uh, We will see you guys next time on the Hardway. Hey.